Within the Uwalia, we have stories about how this world and the universe that we know got formed. We talk about a time before time. It is a time when there was no Earth, but there was a, another universe. There was another place, Bulima, the sky camp. And that sky camp was on the big Warrumble up here in the sky. And in this Milky Way, we see that as being a big river in the sky. When you go into our world, into that dreaming, you go into a place where material possessions and materialism don't exist. There's a regulatory spiritual system of life and death. So we have all these stories, places where we can assure people on the earth here, when we tell them stories, we can assure them that that's where, that's how it's going to happen. We all know our country and we know where story places are. And so when we come together, we talk about our connection to the creation. The well, first one we talk about is that Milky Way up there. Is if you look up there now, winter time, and you look in the Milky Way, you see that Dinoan laying up there. But we don't call that Dinoan. That one up there is a special emu, and we call that one Gawagu. And Gawagu is a featherless emu. It's a spirit bird. It's a spirit emu. And it's a water spirit. And that water spirit is vital for us. You can see another line of stars that curls, and these stars up there will take you to water holes. And in the evening and sunset, the colours represent the women and their ceremonies. We here in the Uali, we talk about Mei Mei, those sisters up there, there's seven sisters. He was born in our country and created in our country. Gagan is his mother, that's the wood duck, and Gayadari is his name. He's the, he's the flat of Hearing these stories, I think, wow, this, this is actually not that different from what we're doing yeah. with this. I also like when you're talking about the going up the tree trunk to get into the sky. Yeah. If you fall into a black hole, mm. you know, we don't actually know what happens when things fall into a black hole. But one idea is that they, they may travel through something we call a wormhole and come out wormhole, of some right. And when you're describing these, this tunnel going yeah. from the earth to the sky, yeah. that, that's yeah, it's a nice parallel to what may happen when things fall into black holes. Oh. They get transported from one place to another yeah, without, well, without having to go through the intervening space. Yeah, well, that's what we say. That's the way to Bulimai. That's the way it's going, yeah. yeah.